Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how living full time in an RV literally saved my life. Happy Sunday, bird watchers. It's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm doing great. Um, as you can see, I'm in a beautiful place. The fall colors are out. Nobody else is around. It's just after dawn. And I thought this was a good time to talk to you about something pretty personal to me. If you saw last week's video, you saw that I kind of did a rant about all the YouTube channels telling people that RV life is over and everybody's quitting and how there's a mass exodus. And normally, you know, I'm like, let channels do what channels are going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But what bothers me about that kind of thing is that um, they could be affecting somebody who this life could really benefit um, like it did me. After I did that video, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I decided that now's a good time to tell you guys how RV life literally changed me and saved me. If you've been following me for a long time, you've probably heard some of this, but for all the new people, let me tell you how I stumbled upon this life. I had never been in an RV um, until a friend dragged me to one. It was an Airstream dealership in Seattle and I did not want to be there. Um, I had a negative view of RVs and trailers at that point because I thought it was all retirees and I didn't understand how I could do that. And it didn't look appealing to me in any way. But when I walked into this Airstream, I had this moment where I, I just imagined myself writing books at the dinette surrounded by the windows because my degree is in creative writing. I'm also an artist and um, I gave all that up to pay the mortgage, to work a regular corporate job um, because I thought that I had to for safety. I didn't understand how I could get health insurance and save for retirement and have a place to live if I pursued my dreams as an artist. I thought that I had to sell out and go into the corporate world to have those things. And then my family got the sad news that my sister, Terry, who was two years older than I was, was diagnosed with a really aggressive form of cancer. Now, my sister had the same kind of job I did. In fact, we were pretty competitive in that field. And I was really surprised that while I was taking care of her in her final weeks, she asked me if I had two years to live, if I would keep that job. And the answer was no. My sister could have asked me anything. And the thing that she was most concerned about was how I was spending my time. When she asked me if I had two years to live, if I would keep my job, what she was really asking me is if I died at 47, like she did, would I have regrets? And I would have. And I knew in the moment that she asked me that question, that something had to change and I had to find a way to live my life and pursue my dreams before retirement because nothing is guaranteed. Everything could be gone in a moment. So I remembered that Airstream in that dealership and I just started ravenously binging YouTube videos and seeing these people going down these dirt roads and I thought, is that legal and how do they do that and how do they get power? And I knew nothing about it. I was not a camper. What I was, was a person who was hell bent on figuring out how to live their life before they died. When I told my friends and family I was gonna do this, I think they all thought I was nuts. I gave up a great job to basically live in a car and just barely make ends meet to pursue my dreams. And they kept saying things to me like, can't you just do that as a hobby? And here's the thing, I tried that and I was not fulfilled. And I didn't want my dreams to be put into a tiny little box. I didn't want my dreams to be a hobby. I really believed I was on the same path as my sister. I was afraid that I was going to die. To be totally honest with you guys, I had really deep anxiety that I was going to be told that I had just a few weeks to live, or I was just going to keel over because of the stress of my job. I didn't love what I did every day. I just got through it and then went home, sat on the couch, tried to get enough energy or enough sleep to go back and do the job again. And I was just a gerbil on a wheel, running, running, running. And how long can you really do that without any kind of personal satisfaction? I knew that it wouldn't be long for me. 
and I'm being completely honest with you guys. So the fear of that for me was greater than the fear of an unknown RV life. And so I dove into it. I went headlong. I went full time right out of the gate, even though I didn't know what I was doing, even though my income wasn't secured, even though I had no friends on the road. And I want to tell you guys that for me, it was the best decision I have ever made. I can't even imagine going back to my old life. It's been six years and I'm not quitting anytime soon. I can't even imagine living full time in the sticks and bricks. At the most, I can imagine as I get older, maybe part-timing, but even that I have a hard time wrapping my head around. When I saw those YouTubers saying RV life is over and everybody's quitting with these heinous thumbnails, you know, with these scary skies and these big eyeball faces trying to scare everybody to get some views, I got a little bit fired up because I know that there are people out there just like me that need an answer to move forward in their lives. And RV life might be it. And I don't want even one person to be dissuaded from that. If that is going to be the key to their happiness, like it was for me. So I wanted to put out this video today to tell you guys that the life that you're living doesn't need to be the only life you ever have. There are lots of choices out there. And if you don't know, by the way, how you can make a living from the road, I wrote a book called Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the little bell because next Sunday, a week from today, I'm doing an entire video dedicated just to jobs for RVers, just to give you guys a taste of the hundreds of jobs that are out there now. We do not have to be tethered to a location dependent job anymore and wait for retirement to be able to travel. We can do it right now because of the internet and because of remote work. One other thing that I did wanna mention from the research I did on last week's video about RV life, according to the latest reports, again, in 2023, the fastest growing demographic in RV life is solo women around my age. Ladies, if you're out there and you're feeling stuck, the water's warm, dive in. There's a whole community of us out here. I cannot tell you how many deep friendships I have with other nomads on the road since I've decided to pursue this life. And the same could be for you if you decide to do it. So don't be scared. And if you want a community of like-minded, positive people that are either already living this life or in the planning stages, do go to patreon.com and search for Creativity RV because my tribe is fantastic. Now I don't go to bed at night anymore wondering if I'm going to wake up in the morning like I used to. And that's the truth. Now I go to bed at night and think about all the places that I want to see before I die. And my biggest concern is that I won't get to all of them in time. I just want to have the longest, happiest life so that I can see and do as many things as possible. And that is because of my RV life. And that is how my full-time RV life saved me. And I hope that if anybody out there is looking for a way forward, that I can be an example for you instead of the fear mongers. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Sunday with an all new video, all about jobs that you can do from the road. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.